So I'd like to um, start off thanking the Brain Foundation for their generosity in supporting this research in stroke and continuing the theme of stroke. Stroke is a leading cause of disability um, in adults and a major cause of death worldwide. And in majority of cases, it is caused by a sudden blockage in the arteries that supplying oxygen to the brain. And as a result, brain cells quickly die within a matter of minutes. And therefore, the current uh, rationale of treatment is to quickly, as soon as possible, to reopen the artery to restore blood flow. However, um, not uncommonly, after, even after successful recanalization or reopening the artery, um, many neurons that were still living at the time when blood flow was restored will still go on nonetheless to cell death, and we do not completely understand why that is the case. And some neurons even go on to unpredictable and sometimes uncontrollable bleeding and swelling after recanalization or restoring blood flow. And these events have a lot of outcome, uh, highly impacts on the outcomes of, of the patients. And patients do suffer from a lot from these sequelae and complications. And this research is focused on understanding these processes by using uh, MRI to look at how brain cells respond to re, uh, restoration of blood flow or reperfusion or recanalization, especially asking why do some blood cells die, some survive, and some bleed after restoring blood flow. And we'll be recruiting patients who have had a stroke to undergo a series of uh, multimodal MRI scans over 12 months. We're trying to um, obtain a comprehensive neuroimaging profile studying the anatomy, the function, the metabolism, as well as the human dyma dynamics of the neurons, as well as the surrounding blood vessels at different stages of their injury, recovery, and reorganization. And we hope that by understanding the pathophysiology of these processes, we can find ways to maximize the effectiveness of current treatment, as well as find ways to see how we can develop new therapies, perhaps to increase the, the resilience of brain cells when they are under stress from ischemia. And ultimately, we, we want to help stroke patients reduce their disability and reduce the disease burden for them and their carers. So thank you. <laughs>